Hey everybody, welcome back to Dixie Bell's YouTube channel. It's Lauren here from Furniture Flipping Teacher, and we are on part two of our little mini series of me refurnishing or furnishing a brand new house with some old and outdated furniture that we are giving a complete makeover to. So today is bedroom time. We are going to be painting these pieces here, two nightstands and one dresser. In the house, there's a humongous closet in the master, so that means that just minimal furniture in the actual bedroom is needed. These pieces are gonna get a complete transformation, so let's go ahead and get started with removing the hardware. So these all actually came as a set. It also came with a taller dresser, but I did that dresser way, way back over on my channel. So you guys will have to go check that out. These three pieces right here cost me about $100. So we're really not in too much just yet. I am going to keep these pieces of hardware. However, I'm gonna set them aside because we want to go with some matte black hardware as opposed to the brushed nickel for this look. All right, and now that we've got the hardware off, it's time to clean. So I just went ahead and dumped some white lightning into this warm water, and then I've got a spray bottle full of white lightning for several projects to come. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this all down. As you can see, it's pretty dusty and dirty because I've been holding on to these pieces for quite some time now. So we definitely need to get all that dirt and grime off so that our paint can, of course, adhere to the surface correctly. All right, and then now, of course, that I've gotten my white lightning all wiped off, I'm going to go ahead and rinse all of the drawers and dressers as well. All right, now it's time to sand. All right, so like I said, it's time for sanding. I've got my surf prep sander and I am going to be using 220 grit to just scuff sand every single area of each and every piece. So I'm gonna put my mask on and we're gonna get to sanding. All right, we are done sanding, which means we need to wipe back all of our dust with a microfiber cloth. All right, let's paint. 
All right, so for paint on this set, I am going to be using two colors and we're gonna be mixing them together. This is a custom color that I actually created several months back and ever since I created it, People have been loving it. This is the third custom piece that someone has chosen this mixture of colors. What I'm gonna be using is caviar and in the navy, and we're gonna mix them up. So it's gonna be an even darker blue than in the navy. And this is just a really in color right now. So this is the caviar. And now we're gonna throw some in the navy in here as well. This is gonna be a very full container. And then I'm going to just mix it all together. So this is all mixed up now, and we're just gonna go ahead and go to town painting some In the Navy Caviar Mix. I guess I need to come up with a name for this color. Comment down below if you have any ideas for this deep, dark, dark, dark navy. All right, we're just about ready for coat number two, but before I get to it, I just want to take a sponge sander and smooth out all of the areas that I've already painted and it's dried. And this is just going to give me an even smoother finish. All right, it's time for top coat now that we've got that second coat on and it's dry. So I'm gonna be using Dixie Belle's clear coat satin for this top coat because we do need a protective layer so that we can lessen the amount of scratches and dents and dings that come along with just the wear and tear of furniture. So what I'm gonna do is pour some into a separate container 
Not too much, not too little. I don't want to waste any, but at the same time, I want to have enough. And what I'm going to do, since this is such a dark color of paint, I really want to eliminate a chance of getting any cloudiness or any streak marks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put just a little bit, just use this stick right here, of of the color that I was using on there. Remember, I'm using In the Navy plus Caviar. So I'm just gonna put a tad bit in here. We're gonna mix it around and we'll get a darker top coat. And that is what we are going to use, just tinting it a little bit. And it's not the exact color of the furniture because it's mixed with the top coat. So it's more of a grayish blue color, but once it dries, it'll dry as if it's the same color. All right, we're finished with the top coat. So once that dries, we'll be able to reassemble and attach the new hardware and we'll have a finished bedroom set. All right, everything's dry. So that means that we are ready for hardware. And at the beginning, I told you that I'm not gonna be putting the same hardware back on. What I'm gonna be replacing it with are these really cool, modern and sleek black poles and they're just squares and they're gonna sort of blend in but this hardware is matching the rest of the hardware in that same room so the ceiling fan is a matte black and other different hardwares so this is why we chose to do the matte black i got these just on amazon it was like 20 dollars or 20 pieces for i think about 25 dollars. so really not a bad price here we are guys over at the staging wall i got those touch-ups done and wow this set is just looking so sophisticated i cannot wait to see it in the room and with all of the other furniture in the house i hope that this just was able to show you how simple upcycling some furniture could be you know this was just a dark brown color with some brushed nickel knobs and all we did was a few coats of paint using the wonderful Dixie Belle chalk paint and it just transformed these pieces and just look how much more sophisticated a new color and some new hardware can get you also with a minimal cost. So if you guys are in search of new furniture, think about how you can repurpose the furniture that you've already got in your house. We've got to address this color. This is in the Navy plus caviar. And at the beginning I told you, since I've been using it so much, we should probably name the color. So we went over to our Instagram, with, which if you don't follow us over there, we are over there at Furniture Flipping Teacher. We would love for you to follow along over there. We put up a question box and we said, what should we name this color? We had space, we had abyss, we had the deepest, darkest part of the sea. There were just so many awesome, awesome ones. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be combining a couple of different names that were suggested by you you guys so I'm gonna take abyss and I'm gonna take the space blue and we're gonna call this space abyss just because it's dark but it still has those blue undertones and I just I love this color so space abyss here it is 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe you are in the market for this deep dark color. All you gotta do is get yourself some caviar and in the navy, mix them one part to one part and then you'll get this gorgeous color. And if you do that and you put it on Instagram, be sure to tag us. We would love to see you guys using this color with Dixie Belle paint. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back next Friday for another part, part three of our house furniture makeovers. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the flip side.